Fox River Rail Fan here, and tonight we are doing another episode of My Model Railroad. And tonight I'm going to show you guys how to solder handrails. And um, this comes into play when you're working on these old Atherin Blue Box models. This is a undecorated GP38, um, and they come with these metal handrails, which require soldering to keep the stanchions in place, which you can see wiggle around a lot when moved. Now. The end product will look something like this. The stanchions are all securely in place and don't move. And they also keep the handrails firmly in place. And I've done this already on the front here and the side. Now, to do this, you're going to need a soldering iron, obviously. Um, this is a uh, 120 volt, 40 watt soldering iron. Um, this is also, these can be also used as wood burners. Um, they're essentially the same thing with just a removable top. You're going to need some solder. I use this fine electro rosin core solder and dispenser, which you saw in the last episode, which I, in which I soldered feeder wires and feeder joints. Now to do this, a uh, model stand or grip stand like this would be very helpful. Um, and you're going to need a pretty steady hand and pretty good eyesight. Um, I don't have the eyesight going for me as many of you know. I wear glasses so I don't have that exactly going for me. But I do have pretty steady hands. So I think I can do this pretty well. So first things first, you're going to want to get these handrails um, <clears throat> assembled on the model like this. Um, just on it, plugged in. Now one thing you might have to do on these older blue box ones is you're going to have to take a really fine drill bit. This is a really, yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a really small bit and you're going to have to just take it and um, go through the holes and drill them out so the stanchions and yeah so the stanchions will slip into the holes easier because when they come out of factory they were too small for the stanchions um, so you're going to have to drill them out so they go in fine so after you've done that you can put them in like I have here and we will get started on the soldering. So to start soldering, you're going to take your solder right here, and you're going to want to get at least um, two inches on the top. You're going to take your iron here, and all you have to do is place this directly next to the stanchion that you're going to do. Take your solder. Make sure it's straight up and down. And solder it into place. Sometimes when you're doing this, you're going to have little pieces left over, um, like I did there and what you can do is you can take a pick like this so this is like a dentist pick and you can come in here and you can pick that off and you're going to want to for when you paint it if you're working on an undecorated model because anything small like this will show up in the paint and now sometimes the picks don't work, so you can take an ultra fine file and just file that down. And this might take a little bit to get done. So now that I've got that file down, we can put the file away, pick up our soldering iron, make the next handrail stanchion straight, as you can see here. 
move their soldering iron into position. Place your solder there and go to town. Now sometimes you'll notice, um, especially on these last two, that they didn't go in. The first try, that's because the solder gets built up on the iron. And this is probably not the best tip for cleaning this, but some, when I do it, I'll just take this paper towel and I will go quickly and pull it off. And that cleans it off. Now like I said, that's probably not the best thing you could do to clean it. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it because it could start a fire if you leave it on too long. So just be careful if you do choose to do that. Let's finish soldering here. See this one is being a little tough. See it's soldered crooked. You can see here it's soldered on crooked so we're going to have to take our soldering iron and a small fine point tweezers, heat it up and move it to where you want it to be. And then it re-solidifies back where you wanted it to be. And that is the basics on how to solder handrails. Um, it will be different for most every model because some have shorter handrails, some have longer handrails. Um, if you don't, if you don't like soldering, you don't have to solder them. You can leave them as is um, and glue them, like on this model. Actually, on this model they have been soldered on, and they've been soldered on well, and then they just glued them to the frame. But on some models. Um, soldering might not work because these are steel handrails and soldering doesn't always work for steel but with most every model it should work just fine um, so if you just keep up the uh, technique I showed you you should get the same results that I did which are nice and sturdy soldered handrails Thank you guys for watching and this is Fox River Real Fans signing off.